Good morning everyone, this is Gerard van Onselen and I'm coming to you with this video wherein I'm looking at another thing pertaining to the bond markets in South Africa which I'm keeping my eye on at the moment. The first chart I want to look at of course from bigcharts.marketwatch.com is the bond yield on the South African 3 year bond. Um, if you've been following this bond, you would have seen that it jumped about 20% since what was this about May, June of this year. The current bond yield, bond yield on the three year bond is 6.12 at the moment, and then if we look at the 30 year government bond, we'll see that it's 8.9. This bond follows a similar pattern in the rise of yields. Of course, what happens when bond yields rise, the price on those securities, on the bond securities, would drop, meaning that if the yield goes up, the price that investors would receive for the bond if they were to sell it in the market would, of course, drop. Now, moving over to a list of South African exchange traded funds, uh, I want to point your attention to this um, ETF. It's called the Zetshares Gavi. The Zetshares Gavi can be regarded as a core, core bond JSE listed ETF which invests in government bonds. If we um, draw the or pull up this um, security on the big charts again, just want to quickly. redraw the chart in a way that is more visible, you'll see that um, the price of the security it did drop from 12 Rand um, down to about 10 Rand 75 and it's now in a triangle consolidation pattern. The MACD did cross so it may be correcting a bit to the upside but usually when looking at this type of pattern um, we can say that with about a 70% likelihood of a downside breakout, which will take this security to about 10 Rand 25. If that were to happen, it would of course mean that the government um, bond yields um, increased, um, which can also be expected um, if we see this pennant or flag type pattern in the chart. So if the bond yields were to go up some more, then the Zetshares would drop some more, of course, um, since there is an inverse relationship between bond yield and price on securities. I'm asking myself, what does this mean? Of course, it, it means that the South African government would be under pressure to pay more for money they are borrowing. If they pay more for money they are borrowing, the pressure to increase tax on all of us would, of course, also increase. But it also provides us with an indication on the risk or what I like to think of as political risk that they, we are experiencing at the markets at the moment. Um, that risk of course will go across the board which means that um, banks lending out money would be pressured at some point to increase interest rates. Um, at this point the Reserve Bank um, on their latest policy announcement said that they would um, keep the interest rates at about 5 of course, that is a manipulated figure, so how long they would be able to do that before the interest rates get forced higher is really the question that I'm thinking of and that I'm considering. Um, as I said in my previous video looking at ShopRite, the moment the interest rates go up and people can earn more in savings accounts and on investing their money in, for example, bonds and those type of instruments, bonds, saving accounts and so forth, um, it would be negative for the market multiple in the JSE. And I just wanted to point your attention um, to some upward pressure, what I consider to be upward pressure in the interest rates. Um, if you have any comments on this video, please comment below. Um, any questions, I'll try and answer them as good as I can. And Please also comment and share your insight on this and I'll talk to you again. Thank you.